everyone, this is Eli G. Brown slash Eli G. Brony, and welcome to another classic Bionicle review. This is the last one for the 2005 reviews. I've already looked over Kitangu and Rudaka a couple years back, so all that's left is to look over Sidorak. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I'm not going to be doing the play sets. I'm not going to be reviewing the minifigure sets, only the large action figure sets. So, pretty much, this is the end for the 2005 reviews. I will keep going for any sets that I have not looked over. And here is the last one that I have not looked over until now. This is Sidorak, the King of the Visorak. Alright, so Sidorak, along with Rudaka, came to Metronui as part of a uh, plan to try to free Makuta from the seal that he had been trapped in at the end of Legends of Metronui by the Toa Metru. And, well, basically, he was betrayed by Rudaka. He was betrayed when Rudaka purposely angered Kitangu and left him to deal with Kitangu himself. But since he couldn't do it, Kitangu ended up killing him. So, yeah. You really shouldn't have trusted Rudaka there, Sidorak. Especially since in the future, he's going to be leading a bunch of insects that's going to change their shape. Uh, I mean, what? <laughs> okay. It, ju just a little obvious uh, behind-the-scenes uh, thing regarding the voice actors uh, for the movie. Alright, so anyway. Sidorak is one of the Titan sets, although here's something else that I should point out. Sidorak is taller than Gitangu. Sidorak is about 11 inches tall, and Gitangu is 9 inches tall. Although in the movie, right before Kitangu is about to kill Sidorak, we can see that Sidorak is cowering down while Kitangu is cowering over him. I mean, what was going on? Was he, like, bent down like this? I mean, that's the only explanation that I have to make him look like he's shorter than Kitangu when he should be taller. I mean... I do not get that. Were the animators exaggerating over the uh, size of Kitangu? That doesn't make much sense to me. Alright, well, anyway, as for functions that Sidorak has, he has quite a number of them. First, he has this. This is his weapon piece. It's the same weapon that was used on Liwa Nuba in 2002, and the gear where his arm moves back and forth. The other arm can also do that, but it uh, isn't as wobbly, since this was actually designed to move as some sort of feature. Like with all of the 2005 Bionicle sets, Sidorak has a Ruduka spinner. And I'm gonna try that out right now. I'm not sure how well this is gonna turn out, but we'll see. Okay, come on. <sighs> okay, well, I'm gonna pretty much say it. The Ruduka spinner has actually been chewed at the end. That's why they do not work as well. So I'm not gonna try that out again. If you wanna see how the Ruduka spinners work, check out my Rahaga review. I am successful in getting them to work in that review, but not in any of the other reviews. Although it's been a while since I did the Rudaka and Kitangu reviews, so I don't really know if I actually tried those out since it was such a long while ago, but I was successful in getting them to work in the Rahaga review. Alright, so anyway, functions, moving sword piece, sword goes out, Ruduka Spinner, that's about it. As for the recolors, well, I think that the dark red Rakshi Lake pieces are new. There's two that's used in the arms, and two that's used in the legs. As for anything else that's new, I think there's not anything. Oh, well, the shoulder armor pieces, I think, are in a new color for this year. Not sure about, uh, the pieces that are used for his feet, as well as his legs right here, and his shoulders. You know, Sidorak is so tall, it's really hard to keep him on uh, camera. Now here's another thing that's kind of been confusing me, and maybe it's been the same for other people too. Where exactly are his eyes? I mean, I see the eye pieces in the Telemetro head 
headpiece, the eye holes and the telemetry headpiece. This is the telemetry headpiece, by the way, that is used. But I also see the Borak eyes, and I think that those are supposed to be the eyepieces used, considering that they are the only Borak eyepieces that are translucent on the entire figure. But are those supposed to be the eyes, or are these supposed to be the eyes? That is what I do not know. Although it probably is a lot more clearer in the movie, but it doesn't really look much like the movie. I mean, it's easier to tell where the eyes are supposed to be in the movie, but on the actual set, I'm debating whether the eye holes on the Tom Metro headpiece or the Borak eyes are supposed to be his actual eyes. That I do not know! Maybe you can tell me, which are his actual eyes? Because I do not know. Alright, well, I think that pretty much wraps it up for the uh, review on Fitterac. He also uses a to uh, to a Matoran, Metro Toran main body piece, but that's not a new color for that piece. It's been used before with a new wrist. So this pretty much wraps up my review on Sidorak. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be getting to the Paraka in the next episode. So, I'll see you all then.